welcome back to our channel. What's up, Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try that again. I'll probably just bleep it out. It's so inappropriate. <laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome back. Um, we are doing something super fun right now. As promised, this is South Dakota and it is winter. We have wanted to go ice fishing this whole time that we've been here, which has been since August. It's like forever at this point. And we are finally going ice fishing today slash tonight. So we found this guy through um, someone at work. They gave us this number to a friend of theirs. Um, and he's heading, setting up a ice castle. ice castle for us on Wabe. Or no, we're no, going to, like oh, oh, it's called um, Bitter Lake. So, but it's up in like the Wabe area. Um, if you know South Dakota at all, which I just heard of Wabe a few weeks ago. So, um, we're going to be staying the night. If in, the fishing is amazing, we're going to edit all of the sounds. So you don't know what we're fishing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if, no, we are staying the night in this ice house castle thing, um, which basically has no running water. It just is literally like, well, Charlie said he watched a video on a couple of them and like what's inside of it? It's it's like a, it's basically like a little tiny travel trailer on the, that sits down on the ice and like the wheels come up and then it's, uh, it's basically just like a room with holes in it to where you can stay warm and sleep in it. It just has like an oven, some, a couple like bunk beds and holes in the ground, but you have the ability to like have heat and cook and everything. Like, yeah, it's got like an oven yeah. in it. Like, I'm like, wait a minute. So I'm gonna We've turn never an. Seen one person. <laughs> yeah. So. so I'm gonna turn an oven on inside on of ice. an ice castle, which is sitting literally like on the ice. I just feel like this is sketchy. Like, how are? And we're driving our truck on the ice. Oh my god, you guys. So we brought the little truck. We brought the little truck. So we have the Silverado, the 1500, because the other one is an F350. And he said we could bring that too. He's like, oh yeah, we've got great ice up here. No worries. And I'm like, I'm terrible. no, if I hear a crack in the middle of the night, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be so scared and we're probably just going to leave because <laughs> I don't know. I'm terrified. We are going to drive our truck onto the ice. I am so scared of that. I don't even know. So we're meeting this guy, Zach, at a gas station in Wabe, and then he's going to lead us out to the ice house that he already has set up for us. So super exciting to get out there. And um, Really nice guy, too. Like, we were just talking yeah. about that. Like, we've had such great experiences with people here in South Dakota so far. Like Everybody we've met with over the last several months, for the most part, like 99%, have been very professional, very prompt, very, it's it's been really a great experience. Like um, yeah. the different things we've booked. We also have another big trip coming up, uh, which will be a different video, but we're already like <laughs> booking things for that. And everybody we've talked to has been like getting back to us almost instantly. Yeah, very prompt people. <laughs> reservations, making concessions if we need them. It's been, it's been awesome. Yeah, we're excited some upcoming things but um I don't know I, I've always wanted to do this like you guys know if you saw like our Venice trip you know we love to fish like we love to be on the water this is just a totally different thing like we've never ice fished I've never in my life like had to drill a hole in ice to get to where the fish are like I we were buying a bunch of stuff yesterday and we went to Shields and like I take the kids and like we rode the Ferris wheel and the shields up here has a ferris wheel in it and it has like games and stuff and our son loves to go play the dinosaur oh, moon game so we were i was doing that and i was like what are you gonna buy charlie like where what are you gonna get and he's like i don't know i assume there's like an ice fishing section i'm just gonna like throw a bunch of shit in the car <laughs> i was like okay so i bought one of them he literally did. we'll show you guys what he bought and if you are like an avid ice fisher fisherman you're gonna be like what did you get I'm actually really um, excited to show you guys all that because I'm sure somebody will get a kick out of it. So yeah, this is just our little intro into what we're doing. I feel like a crazy person, gonna drive our truck on the ice, hopefully it doesn't go through the ice, and we will see you guys when we get to Bitter Lake and we're heading out onto the ice for the first time. So see you all in a few minutes. Alright, we met up with Zach at the gas 
gas station and we just turned on a dirt road. So I'm thinking we're about to get on the ice in just a minute. <laughs> Told us it was uh, 30 inches deep. So, I mean. That makes me feel better, that's okay? Awesome. Like, 30 inches of ice is a lot of ice, but still, taking that's my truck on us and ice. And, uh, and how far are we going out? He said we're gonna stay pretty close to the ramp, so we're only going half a mile out on the <laughs> ice. <laughs> that's awesome. What? He said he told us that he didn't want us to get lost out on the lake, so he was gonna keep us, he was gonna find us a good spot for fishing, but not have us be like so far out and he said that there were what did he call the things he said he didn't know. want us to drive across any of the drifts i think he said he said it can get a little like sketchy if either, you don't know what you're doing either out said there drift or heave and I, I don't know it was something that it's, i wasn't familiar i feel with. so stupid like we know so much about fishing in florida fishing in any place where like you know you can there's an ocean you know have an ocean so we feel pretty dumb when it comes to fishing up here, but still it's very fun. exciting. It's the best <laughs> way to learn is to just do it, right? Yeah, I can just do it. I'm excited. So, whoa. Here we go. Uh. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what's better, the shot of your face driving onto the lake or the shot of the ice driving onto the lake. I'm not that worried. You're not? not really. I'm, I am. <sighs> Do it. I'm driving on a lake. Holy cow, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god. We are on top of ice right now. I thought in my mind that we would just be like, if the wind blew, we'd slide side. <laughs> <laughs> but we're still in two wheel drive. Like, we're just cruising. Look how many, like, there's like a full road out here, though. Yeah. This is cool. This is really cool. This is worth the price of admission. I wonder if that's where we're going right there. Yeah, looks like it. You think so? Yeah. That's our little... That's our ice shack. Our house on the ice over there. I cannot believe... This is so freaking weird. Look at this, you guys. There's like a lot of snow on top of it, but then it's just like ice. I think here it is, guys. That's our little house on on wheels for the night. This is so cute, actually. It's awesome really excited so we'll get set up let this guy get out of here and then I'll give you a little tour so but this is where we'll be we made it guys we're here <laughs> we are inside the shack o fishing so um so Zach just got us all set up um he actually is super cool he set up all of our little lines for us um just because this is our first time ever doing this and he also set up all like the radar stuff because we've never used any of this stuff before we've never really had this kind of fishing opportunity so let me show you around this is um like it's got a little kitchen area we already have a little pizza going on a thing called a pizzazz which i've never seen before but um basically it just makes your pizza on the countertop which is really awesome um there's like a full-on bathroom of course no running water in here but pretty nice for what it is um you can sleep somebody up there if you want to you've got another little dinette table down here we've already got some um hooks in the water this is one of the little radar things so basically this is where our um lure is and then here's like the bottom so we'll see like a fish start to jump up here and as it gets closer this will change color so it'll let us know like when something's coming close to our rod so we can start jigging so this one is actually like a little rod the other ones are on little like rattle lines is that what he called them mm -hmm. so all of these will rattle when a fish gets on them letting us know that there is a fish on there and then we can start reeling and then over here we've got another bed up top if you had that many people and then the bottom bed we brought our own sheets and is that thing done <laughs> 
<laughs> no way. Um, so yeah, we brought our own sheets and everything, but he said that that's all supplied, but we didn't know. So we brought our own sheets, pillows, blankets, all of that stuff. Um, so like super, super cute. We are very accustomed to staying inside of a camper, so that's nothing new. Yeah, so anyway, um, I just want to show you guys how thick this ice is. Like this is absolutely crazy. Can you see down there? <laughs> That is craziness. 30 inches of ice. And this one has a little minnow on it and a bobber that's keeping it about two feet above the bottom. And we're fishing in like 14 feet of water right now. So really cool. So if anything happens, we'll let you guys know. Basically he said there's like, there's an evening bite that happens and then like an early morning bite. So he said just to keep the lines in the water and when it turns on, we'll know and it'll turn off. And he said, you keep these other lines, the rattle ones in the water all night, like when you're sleeping. And that's usually when you'll get like your bigger, bigger fish. If they're going to come in, that'll be when it happens. So if I get woken up so that I can reel in a fish, trust, I will not be upset about it. <laughs> so this is really cool and it's very warm in here. It's very nice. There's yeah. like an actual thermostat. It's just like, a, I mean, it's a camper. Yeah, it's a camper. There's a camper TV. The <laughs> um, it's awesome. Very well done. A lot cleaner than I expected, which um, that's not like a dig on the guy or anything. You just never know what you're going to get yourself into. So I'm pleasantly surprised with everything. So anyway, this is what we'll be doing. We'll fill y'all in in a little bit. Hopefully we'll start getting some nibbles and um, Show you guys how it goes. Anything to add? No, it's awesome. <laughs> Driving on the ice was easy. Ish, except when we when we went to step out, and I oh, literally yes. I stepped out right onto the ice, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, where there's snow is kind of like where you want to be walking. So there's a lot of ice, but then there's some areas that have snow on top of them, and that's kind of where you need to stay walking. But really, really neat. There's. I kind of feel bad for these people over here. There's a dude over here that's like fishing, but it's just, he's just outside. There's a lot more people coming right now. Really? Okay. Where at? It's like the third, there's a guy right behind us now. No way. Let's see. Oh, wow. There's people coming out over there, way off in the distance. Anyway, so yeah, we're not cool. alone out here, but. We are the only ones with a little ice shack, so go us. <laughs> so anyway, all right guys, we'll let you know when something happens. Is there still something on oh, yeah, there? Yeah, it's still swimming. All right, well listen, we just missed our first fish. This thing started rattling and wasn't ready. <laughs> I went to go set the hook and it did not set. So we'll see if our little fishy will come back. Let's see. Alright, it's getting serious. It's getting getting real in here. <laughs> in the meantime, we made our bed. <laughs> and that's literally all we've done. We're still waiting on our pizza on the pizzazz, which smells heavenly. It's actually Oh wait, is it going? <gasps> There's the that hook. <laughs> I wonder if it's something really small. This is the coolest part about fishing is there's different tackle for everything. Remember we were in Arkansas when we were striper fishing and they had those those planers, the side planers. Oh yeah, the side planers and it kept and it like way super far out. Like the, everything is just oh, so- Oh, it's starting to bob again. It's straight down, I can see it now. Hang on, something's taking that dude. Oh, oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Hold on. Nothing? All right, let's let it go for a minute and see what happens, like if it'll take it further. It might just be the fish taking off. I don't think so, because it would have done it this whole time. Yeah, maybe. I think something's messing with it. Could be. The fish is still alive, so that's good. Yeah. All right, now I'm on high alert. <laughs> He told us that we weren't gonna be on anything until a little bit later, like there's an evening bite. So what time is it now? It's 4.45. So it usually gets dark here in South Dakota, like 
this time of year by like 5 30 6 o'clock the sun is sitting so we will see you guys i'm very excited <laughs> all right so we've made some sweet potato crust chicken barbecue pizza and it might sound disgusting but man it looks good so we'll give this a try and see This is really good. Oh, that's much nicer. Yeah. He moved our stuff over to this one. And then he put that up so we have more like headroom and stuff we can sit over there. You gotta try that. That is yummy. <laughs> Not bad for sweet potato pizza. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Urban farmer and barbecue chicken on a sweet potato crust. Pretty cool. Something was nice on the wall. Alright, we just had some radar stuff happen and we saw a fish coming up to get our bait. You can see our bait dropping down. See there it goes. Heading down. That's the bottom, and then we're going to reel up a little bit, and you'll see that difference there. And if something comes up to try to get it, it'll, you know, kind of separate that. Oh, oh, here it goes again. Something's on it. You feeling anything? Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh, did you just pull it out of its mouth? Probably. I'm offshore still. Dude, these are tiny fish. Last fishing I did was for tuna. So. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so that's the sound it'll make. And he said to keep it basically level where that's floating on the surface. And then it'll pull it down. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Let's see ahead. what happens. I'm just going to let something like run with it for a second before I yank it up. We'll see what happens here. It's trying, whatever it is. Something. Might be something little, but who knows? Hey, I mean, it's action. It's action, and oh, oh, it's pulling it like down into the side, too. I don't yeah. know if you guys can see that. Like, it's down, and then it goes off to the side where it was just straight down before. So, hang on, don't do it yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see how it's like straight back down now? It's like something let it go or I don't know. Yeah, we definitely should have said that though. Well, it, was, it wasn't even pulling as hard as the last time. So we'll check and see if we have any bait left on here. If not, we're gonna get another one back in the water. Okay, all right, little dude, do that your work. Did it though. Yeah, I think it did. Gotta be something tiny. I know, right? Like why wouldn't it just swallow it? That's all right passing on these little guys. I know, I'm used to, well, first of all, this guy right here is used to not being very patient with fishing, I'm and patient. if a If this lure... were mine, I would have moved spots already. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, and we've been here, like you guys, <laughs> that is not a joke. There's no fish here. There's no fish here, and we would have moved. So this is going to be a lesson in patience for this guy over here. Which I have a ton of. Just not for fishing. <laughs> anything in life. Hold on, hold on. We gotta. Oh, oh, that one's definitely. Anything? Nope. That's just me reeling. We'll see what happens here. So basically, what he told us to do is wait for it to like take it, and as it's on its way down, we're supposed to set the hook. So you're supposed to like just pull it before you start to reel. So that's what we're trying to do, but we'll All see. Right. Time to get serious. Time to get serious. <laughs> Trout fishing, for instance, and you're using.
amazing bobbers. Um, and you see your bobber go under and then it pops right back up and you're like, ah, it wasn't anything. I'm talking about like using artificial bait here. So if you're using live bait, you would have just lost your bait. But if you're using artificial and you let that happen, you see it go down. Literally, you just missed a fish. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. So now when we're fishing in the ocean for trout specifically, we know exactly what depth to be in. We know exactly how to set where our bobber should, bobber should be. And I know that when that bobber goes under, if I don't set that hook, I'm missing my fish. Well, they're very aggressive fish too. Yes. So it's, it's a lot different. Freshwater it is. fishing is so different. We like, have no idea what we're doing here. So me being aggressive and like pulling hard on this might just rip it right out of this fish's mouth. Yeah. Or I could need to pull harder than I am. And until we figure that out, this is like, we have no idea. That's so, awesome. That's the fun of it. That's the fun of fishing, essentially. Right. So we will figure this out at some point tonight, you guys. <laughs> You're going to go rip on the ice? What was that you were saying? <laughs> I'm being an adult. <laughs> Listen. He wants to just go, you know, check out the traction control on his truck. <laughs> no big deal. Okay, so we're going to go explore outside for a minute. Listen, none of you guys get hit right now. That would be very unideal for me. All right, we have to be really careful where we're walking because this is all, anywhere that's not covered in snow is slicker than shit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, but it's slicker than shit. Look how pretty, you guys. This is our little ice house we're staying on. It's literally, I thought he was joking, but it's literally called the Ice Castle Fish House. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it is so so pretty out here listen just like an hour ago I was terrified to walk on the ice and now I'm living on the ice overnight in our truck this just like <laughs> I, I live on the ice now this is what I do with my life no literally like <laughs> no I just mean it's not every day you live on the ice I'm just saying <laughs> I am I not <laughs> Staying the night on the ice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. My Discovery Channel. <laughs> Katie lives on the ice. Days. <laughs> okay. I'm going to frolic for a while. It's like a dream of yours to walk on, the, walk on a frozen lake. I know. I have been talking about it all winter. Like, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, I am very aware. Like, <laughs> this is so slippery. No! Charlie! <laughs> Friggin... <laughs> Did you see that going differently? <laughs> How's your butt? Butt's fine. Yeah? Just broke my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, so while we were outside frolicking about, <laughs> this is a tiny little walleye. This is what's been eating all of our bait. So clearly we're not going to keep him. He would be a chicken nugget. So we're going to throw this guy back. Super exciting. Go on down little dude. We got a little minnow floating here. We're re-rigging because apparently we lost like everything there while we were outside. Look, the minnow's still swimming. Nuh-uh. <laughs> he spit the minnow back out and it's still swimming. Oh, that is so funny. And they make some hearty minnows up here. They sure do. That's crazy. All right, you deserve to live, my friend. Yeah, let him go. Swim free. Swim free. <laughs> this guy's still ripping. Let's see what it is. No. Oh, that's a little bit. Well, no, about the same size. 
We got some little dudes happening. At least, you hey. know what? You know what? Better than nothing. We got a hit. Yes, sir. These are really pretty fish. These are walleye, right? These are walleye, but look at that. I like this, like. I know, I top love bit. that. That is so They're pretty. They're really pretty. Look how clear their eyes are. Wow. Healthy fish right there. Yeah. Bye bye, little walleye. Swim free. Cool. Here he goes. I have been over here having so much fun with this little thing here. Like, I've been jigging. And so right now, this is my, um, uh, what do you call it? This is my lure that I have down there. And then this is the bottom. And see right there, coming off the bottom, that's a fish. So I'm going to go ahead and get this down in the water real quick. And you know what's cool? Beginning of today, I didn't know how to use one of these things. So it's all about the process. So this is the bottom. Yeah. And this is six feet. And this is from six feet to the top of the ice is how he explained it. So this is her lure. That's and then, me moving that. Right. And then you'll see a fish come from the bottom and come up to it. Right. It's pretty Which cool. I've never used one It'll be this. really, really neat. I'm gonna... See that? See that? That's something coming up to get my bait right now. Let's see if we make some contact here. I'm just jigging a little bit. Let him know I'm alive down here. It's... See, so like went back down to the bottom. Let's see if he comes back if he shows any more interest. Draw here. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So, unfortunately. There's a guy who's been fishing near us for a while um, since we got here today and we've been seeing him kind of like struggle to get out like he's stuck over here and we can see like snow ripping up from the back so like we have any idea what we're doing <laughs> we don't but we can't just let this guy sit out here when it's freezing <clears throat> and not go in at least try to help so we did find we had like an emergency kit in the truck Usually, like in Florida, we are well equipped with whatever we need to help, but this is all we could find was this strap thing that was in an emergency kit that we had. So, I mean, maybe that'll help. We'll see. Um, but, like, you can just see him, like, ripping. He's trying. Oh, he just got out. Oh, did he just get out? Let's see if he makes it out of this. Oh, is he moving? He just got it. Oh, he's sliding all over the freaking place. All right, he just got out, y'all. So we did not have to go do anything. Good for him. And even better for us because I was really scared. I didn't want to get stuck too in whatever he was stuck in. So what is he doing? All right, now we get to rip around for a while. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and ah, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, and this is what Charlie's been wanting to do. Anyway, oh my God, did you feel? <laughs> is he okay? Did he get out? Yeah. So anyway, we get to go play for a little bit, I guess. That was something that could have been very serious for that guy, but I'm really super glad. We watched him struggle for like a good 20 minutes, which, oh, don't go over that. I'm not. Huh? I'm not. Okay. Like, if that were us, I would want somebody to come and help us. So, anyway, that's that's our story there. We're going to get back over and park where we've got some good snow to step out on and get back in our nice little ice hotel. <laughs> so, guys, we're about to go to bed because... There's not been much action on these lines. So, I mean, for the evening bite, we got like five really small walleye, like really small. So we're hoping maybe one of these rattlers will go off overnight or if nothing else, we've got an alarm set for super early. So maybe we'll get the morning bite. <laughs> so that's the game plan, right? He was going to sleep. 
I am going to sleep. I came here to catch fish. I know, I did too, but I'm so tired. <laughs> I will catch a fish. Good night. Good morning. I would love to tell you that I caught the walleye of my dreams last night, but it was in my dreams that I caught that walleye. So we have no fish to show for my hard work while I was sleeping, but today is a new day. <laughs> we had the rattle things. We had six of them down all night and we didn't get anything. So now we're all re-rigged this morning. We got everything going. Everything has fresh minnows. We've seen a little bit of um, commotion over there on that one. And so we are going to have this coffee that we brought with us. Never had this before. Hopefully it's decent. Just cold brew with almond milk, which who knows? We'll see if it's any good, but heck, it's coffee. So it'll be good. Charlie said he would have moved the ice house about 20 times by now. Yeah. This isn't like um, the type of fishing where you can be patient. Like, we are not patient people when it comes to fishing. Like, we're so used to, if you're not catching fish, you just move your boat. <laughs> so, this is very odd. Like, these are the only six holes I have to work with the whole time. <laughs> so, and we don't have an auger. So, and the ice is 30 inches deep so there's no way I'm getting out there and like getting a new hole outside so anyway we'll keep you guys posted we're gonna try to stay here for the morning bite and hopefully there is one and we will see how that goes let y'all know if anything happens so hopefully I'll be updating soon <laughs> here I'm filming this cause... oh wow <laughs> A northern? Like, yeah. is that a pike? Yep. Northern okay. Pike, yep. Oh my goodness. I don't care what it is. That's good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> so you don't be as tangled in that yeah. one. Yeah. Those heads over here. Yeah. Trying to let them down a little bit. Oh, there we go, there we go. Just go tail first. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Do you want a glove? No, I should have grabbed it. Yeah, you know, I was hoping he was going to come up head first. Grab that rod like that. There you go. There, he's going to come up head first. Nice. <laughs> Gonna have a heck of a mess with that other one. Yeah. They ate everything. Yeah. Here. Oh, there you go. Wanna hold them up, get a picture with it? That is so cool. Oh, watch that around here. I have to hold them, yeah, under the gills or something. Look at that thing. Do you eat these? No. No. They're real bony, yeah. You can, yeah. They've got a ton of bones in them. That is so cool. Cool. <laughs> well, guys, um, after you saw that pike that Charlie caught, we have not gotten even another nibble, so... I think the morning bite is turned off and we're just gonna like get ready and get out of here. I've already stripped the bed and we've still our lines in the water just in case while we're getting everything else packed up and ready. 
but we're almost out of here. It's now, I just put my watch back on. It's only nine o'clock in the morning, but it's like really hard to just sit and wait. And we have like a two and a half hour drive back home. So our babies are waiting for us. We'll see if we get anything else in the next 30 minutes or so. And if not, then we'll be heading out. It's actually a really beautiful day out right now. It's cold, but very pretty. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh! <laughs> Getting the generator. Gonna bring that inside. You guys got to see Zach for a second. He is such a cool guy. And um, he has actually has like a little word of mouth business up here in the Wabe area. Um, he just puts people on fish for the weekends from the day after Christmas through March. So today is February 28th. So we like are catching the very tail end of the season. So unfortunately, like it is the tail end of the season and there's not a lot going on um, fishing wise. So we just wanted to like get the experience. And honestly, it was so cool. Um, really, really neat experience. And what a great guy. He brought us like, how many did he say? Like six, six or, seven. six or seven fish. So he brought us a bunch of walleye to take home. So did we catch them? No, but we still get to eat them and see how all that goes and how they taste and how we can prepare that. So it'll be good. We told him we'll book again for next year when it's like a lot busier, like the normal times people come instead of the very tail end of the season. So it's been super, super fun though. And uh, we'll see you guys in the truck on the way home. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.